周末好，今天呢是美国西部时间星期六的下午七点半，呃，也是中国大陆和亚洲时间星期天的上午十点半。那么每个周末的同这个同一时间呢，我们都会有一个小时的美商杰斯的空中教室，也就是把我们在美国呃洛杉矶地区的呃这个一个小时的产品的推荐呢。我们通过网络来帮助我们在世界各地的呃美商杰斯的朋友们呢来做一个推荐。那今天呢，我们有一个小时时间，我们的推荐呢分三个部分啊，一个小时分三个部分。第一部分呢，我们先欣赏三段美国主流媒体关于最新抗衰老生物科技的技术的一个背景介绍。这不是任何公司的一个产品广告，而是媒体对这些方面科技发展的一个科幻报道。呃，需要十一分钟时间。然后呢，第二段呢，我们会用二十分钟的时间介绍美商杰斯公司最新的抗衰老生物科技技术产品啊。然后呢，中间呢，我们会有三十秒钟的休息时间，因为今天有很多朋友仅仅是来听产品的技术背景和产品的一些作用的。那么，呃，听完的呢就可以结束了。但是三十秒钟以后的话呢，我们还有二十分钟。关于美商杰斯的交互式网购平台这么一个最新的商务模式的一个介绍，所以如果对开发市场、经营市场、对交互式网购平台感兴趣的呢，我们呃还可以继续再往下收听。那现在的话呢，我们就抓紧时间，先欣赏三段美国主流媒体的视频。这个视频介绍的是最新的抗衰老生物科技的发展，包括了干细胞，包括了。基因修复与染色体端粒维护，还有复方白藜芦醇抗衰老的技术。现在我们开始。Most of us, these bizarre, otherworldly shapes are strangely beautiful. But the world's best aging researchers see something entirely different. They see the answer to possibly the most important and complex question of all time. Dr. Sinclair, as I look here, I'm seeing very cute little colored cubes. Well, these little cubes are actually the the protein in our bodies that we believe controls the aging process. If he is right. Dr. David Sinclair has found one of the genetic keys that will reset our biological clocks. I think we've we've passed a turning point in our our understanding of the aging process. How did he discover these proteins? This looks like a barcode, but it's really a map of our genome, the blueprint for human life stored in every cell in our bodies. A few of these genes play a key role in the speed at which our cells age. Dr. Sinclair randomly tested tens of thousands of cells, searching for the chemical that would activate those genes. We found them by accident. We stumbled upon this molecule from red wine. And when I, I looked on the computer, what is this resveratrol, and found that it was in red wine, I almost fell off my chair. Because, of course, we all have heard that red wine is good for you. Just so happens. I have red wine. To your health. How much of this would I have to drink to really make a difference? Well, our experiments tell us probably about a thousand bottles a day. So that was not the solution. Dr. Sinclair then went back to the lab and found a way to make resveratrol one thousand times more potent. So, what does it do in the body? Well, what we have discovered is that resveratrol works on a gene which is called SIRT1, and this is a gene that controls the aging process. Resveratrol seeks out that gene and switches it on. And with that gene activated in the mouse on the right by a high dose of resveratrol, she quickly turned into a mini Olympian, running twice as far as the untreated mouse on the left. And they were eating a high-fat diet, a fatty diet. And they lived just as long as a lean, healthy mouse, which means that they didn't get heart disease, cancer, even osteoporosis, and they lived 30% longer. Can you do this in humans? With the same exact gene, and we think that resveratrol could have similar benefits in people. Realizing the blockbuster potential for his new pill, 
Sinclair teamed up with biotech entrepreneur Chris Westfall, together raising more than $100 million for further research. And we think that we can increase healthy lifespan. So if you're in your 80s, you'll be behaving as if you were in your 50s. In the first human trial, a form of resveratrol successfully treated type 2 diabetes, one of the major diseases of aging. If everything goes very well, we will seek regulatory approval from the FDA in the next five years. I think a lot of people will say you're raising expectations. This, this can't possibly happen. My answer to that is, I agree, but it's true. What else can I say? Aging is really a set of diseases, and if we slow them down and cure them, people will live longer, healthier lives. And you're talking especially now about diabetes and Alzheimer's? So the major killers of Western society are exactly the diseases that should be able to be treated with the drugs we're developing. Well, you know what, doctor? Cheers. Cheers. When doctors perform cancer,